Good morning, guys. It is STB time. It is uh, September STB box. What is that? Okay, well, let's start with this. First item in the September box is the Striking Rage Punch Bug. Have a look here. This is the watermelon red color. Smell that coffee set. So this is a reported rage tail range. And there it is there. It's got the coffee scents on it. I can see nice big ribs on the body. Quite solid. Obviously it's a punch bunk, so it needs to be able to hold up when you're pitching it in heavy cover. So it's got to have some nice body to it. Those ribs can help it have a natural feel as well. And they'll push some water as it goes down. So that's that's pretty cool. And then obviously at the bottom here, you just got to just separate that. It's got these fantastic rage flanges on the back as well. It's going to give a ton of action whilst being very compact. So it can go inside the cover, not too many appendages that's going to get hung up on the grass or the hyacinth or whatever you're pitching into. So yeah, that'll be a nice punch setup. Half, three quarter, one ounce weight in the thick stuff. So yeah, the coffee scent smells great. So that's pretty cool. Oh, Bass Warehouse 10% voucher. Very cool. That's going to come in handy. That's uh, online or in store, so that's very, very cool. Save you guys some money as well. That retails for 134 bucks. Okay, so top end bait for sure. Then we've got a Strike King Gurgle Toad. This is color called White Swirl. It retails 132 bucks. So also, KVD Perfect Plastics, so Kevin Van Dam series bait. Nice top water frog. Very cool. Those fish moving shallow now, that thing will get bit. Very, very nice. Nice kicking legs there, that's gonna get some nice action on the surface. Probably fish that with the Favo Mustad grip pin. That'll probably be the best hook for that. Last Tech Z Man Giant TRD Copper Truce. Wow, this is now proper. Retails for 98 Rand. Look at that. Wow, Copper Truce, boys. That's a special, special color. This is a super size TRD. You're used to the 275 TRD, uh, the finesse TRD, and then you've got the 4 inch, the big TRD, and now they've gone for the giant. So this is uh, 6 inches of TRD ness. This is going to be interesting. This um, can fish this obviously on uh, the TRD style. I guess we could fish this weightless as well. I'm just checking if it floats. I'm sure this thing will float. Um, you can throw that weightless. You could throw in a weighted grip pin as well. Probably a 5 for that size of bait to get that fall. So, yeah, that horizontal fall that'll be quite good. Give a ton of action. So, let's see what, how we can rig this a couple of different ways. That's cool. Ah, there we go. Okay, they're the heads, the mag shrooms. Mag shrooms head. This head is designed for the giant TOD, so if you want to fish it Ned Rig style, that's the way to do it. So yeah, mag shrooms. Very good. Then we have Z-Man, TRD Ticklers. So this is 275, 2.75 inch bait. This is black blue color. Feel a nice solid body, obviously, in that elastic again. And it's got these sort of tube like tentacles at the end, similar to the hula sticks, which we know, and the bang sticks, we know how successful those baits are. But that's a nice little finesse morsel for your next TOD. That's that's quite exciting. I could actually drop shot this as well, so we'll play around with that and see what we can do. So, yeah, let's have a look at rigging that different way. So, that's also very cool. Those retail for 98 Rand. Then we have the KVD Popping Perch. Another top water bait as these fish move shallow now towards September and um, it's quite exciting, it's very nice. So that's the KVD Pipsqueak it's called. Alright, this is Green Pumpkin Gill. Hmm. So it's basically a hollow body popping frog. Let's have a look at it. It says yeah. 25% smaller than the original. The KVD Pipsqueak Popping Perch delivers big time top water attraction in a compact package. Hmm. Very cool. At the front of the KVD 
pipsqueak popping perch. Uh, it's designed with a concave mouth that generates prominent splash with each twitch of the rod tip, alerting big bass to an easy meal that slides over the vegetation. So you can see those hooks are weedless. Uh, that sort of body is molded around those hooks, so that's not going to get hung up. So you can throw that into the thick stuff. Got a nice tail here that's going to give some uh, some a little bit of bulk to it and some action as well when you're walking it uh, or popping it. And uh, yeah, there's that concave mouth that they talk about, so that's going to give off some nice, nice splashes. Um, nice, nice size, not, not as big, so I think our hook sets will be better on that. You know, the guys used to throwing the big ones, a lot of times you battle to strike it will set the hook on those fish, so I'm sure they're going to get this in their mouth a lot easier. So I think that's going to be a lot more suitable for South African waters than the other previous big style ones. So that's cool. What's nice about this boat as well, you can fish it really slowly because just with a small pop of the rod tip, um, you know, it's going to give off that action. You don't have to really move it out the strike zone or, or, or do a hell of a lot to it to get a bit of a commotion. So you can just twitch it gently. What's really nice I'm noticing now on this bait as well is the underside of the bait's got uh, it's got the eye on it and it's, it's sort of molded a lot of other baits that I've seen there's not a lot of detail on the bottom and, and really if we're honest you know the fish is looking up and he's only going to see the bottom side of it so yeah striking have taken it a step further now and they've put the detailing on the bottom which I think is, is quite important we're trying to imitate a bait fish or something to that effect we want to have some element of sort of realness or realisticness or whatever the word is for it um, so that's pretty cool so yeah let's, uh, let's get set up here and uh, see what we can do with this Awesome, very cool. Um, okay, so all in all, the Pro Box. This is the STB September Pro Box. Uh, it cost 499 rand, and the total value is 839 rand plus free courier over and above that. So fantastic deal. I mean, that's Jesus, double your money. So uh, what a what an awesome deal. Great baits, some new stuff that's fresh out of the United States as well, out of our cost. Punch bugs, ticklers. Um, the shrooms, the mag shrooms, and this giant TOD. So, wow, awesome box. Let's have a look and see if I get this thing to float. Right, giant TOD. Let's see if I can get that thing to float. Does it float? It floats. If I drop it in, will it float back up? Let's have a look. It will indeed. Okay, nice wobbling actually. All right, so this thing definitely floats. I'm guessing subfluor, if you're fishing that weightless on uh, fluorocarbon or something like that, the line will eventually pull it down. Um, so it'll get it subsurface. And I'm thinking, depending on the size of the hook, it'll probably sink that as well. So yeah, there's many ways to fish this. Light wire hook, that thing will probably still float, so you can twitch it across the surface. So this looks like a real versatile bait. And something that's gonna hold up, you know, other, ba other baits in this style, uh, they're not, obviously not made of elastic, so you know they just really they just rip up, and uh, I think that's what's going to be special about this giant TOD. It's going to hold up fish off the fish off the fish, and it's going to help get those bigger bites. You know, having that bigger profile. So um, this is quite an exciting product. I mean, geez, there's so many different ways that I can think of rigging this. So uh, let's experiment and see what we can learn. Right, this is the punch bug. So let's see how this goes. All right, so I've got um, 50 pound braid. I think this actually might be 60 pound braid. With a one ounce weight, and I've got two bobber stoppers and a smart peg. That's just, uh, I've got a bit of reinforcing there so that this, this doesn't move. The big weight doesn't move. That's gonna punch through the hyacinth and the grass mats. Um, also, you know, when you set the hook on a few fish, you tend to burn the front ones off. So I've always got two in the front and then a smart peak that slides into that tungsten. Um, it's part of the Vark range. And this is a Vark one ounce weight. And I've got a 3 0. This is a Grip and Max. This is the Straight Shank um, Striking, uh, Striking, sorry man, Mustard Denny Brower Straight Shank hook. That's the punching hook. That's the one that you want to use for this bait. And there's the punch buck. So I just uh, slide that up. Nice. That grip pin's going to hold that thing in place. It's not going to come out every time I'm presenting it into that th thick and heavy cover and pulling it out. It's not sliding down all the time. So um, that's pretty neat. So what I'm going to do 
is bury that hook point inside the boat itself. I don't want it to come out on the other side. I want it to be inside there. So that whole boat is dead straight, single unit. Um, yeah, that's that's the way I want it. If you've got the, if you pop the hook out and back in again, it tends to just start to wear away at the plastic when you're presenting your bait and you end up getting snagged. The point comes through and you keep getting hooked on the on the grass or the hyacinth or whatever, and that's not ideal. So that's how we're basically going to fish that punch bug. That's how we rig it up. I've got the Pesca pitch and punch rod, and I've got that on the loose crush bait caster high speed reel. Very cool. Nice, solid, solid reel, strong drag. Seven and a half to one gear ratio. So yeah, this is the this is the business. That's my punch that I brought there. Right, then here's my drop shot setup. So I've got the boom tungsten weight. This is quite a great product. Um, that's the packaging. So it comes. You won't be able to see it on screen, no doubt, but it comes with the weight actually stamped on the tungsten so you know exactly what weight you're throwing if you find yourself getting hung up um, you know that uh, you know you can go to a lighter one and uh, if these things are lying loose in your tackle box not still in the packaging you just pick it up and you can see oh okay i was fishing a half ounce this is a three eight ounce this is the one i need to be fishing so you don't have to sit there and compare sizes and try and figure it out it's just simply stamped onto the weight so you know exactly what you what you're throwing at all times you know which is obviously quite important but what also what's great about it is it's a, it's a treated tungsten so it's not a powder coated tungsten so this is one i've been fishing a while now uh, up at Whitbank and you can see it's still in perfect condition it hasn't there's no powder coating that's chipped off it's not shiny and unnatural so that's really really cool another fantastic feature about this is at the top section here um, there's a, a super super neat loose um, swivel okay and it just below sort of where the line tie comes on and that's cool that really eliminates now line twist i don't know if a lot of you guys that fish a lot of drop shot you know that line just twists every time you wind it back to the boat it's just that bait spinning 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 and it creates this huge line twist which uh, which results you know in, in the line coming terribly off the reel and uh, wrapping around on your rod tip sections and always getting sort of stuck up and wrapped around the top two three four guards so that's a catastrophe that that's you know, it's a mission to get rid of so having that that swiveling at the at the bottom of the line it's always just basically working full time just to eliminate that line twist anyway and how i connect it up um, is i just do a simple overhand knot i stick it through the line tie and pull it up and that's that's the way i like to fish it um, at the end of the day if i'm fighting a big fish back to the boat and this weight gets hooked on something i just want it to be able to pull off quite easily i don't want to uh, lose that fish because it just gets hung up in a tree branch Something I like to do as well is um, the hook that I've been experimenting a lot with is this mustard, mustard grip pin edge. Okay, this is the one in my hand. Um, so yeah, that's the one. That's the one there. Grip pin edge, KVD hook, mustard hook, super sharp, light wire hook. And the reason I like fishing this in a drop shot is just because it's so versatile. If I'm fishing in an area that's got a lot of um, rock and I'm not too worried about getting hung up, I'm, I'm able to rig this bait with an exposed hook like you would a circle hook or a round drop shot hook or something to that effect so i can i rig it up like that and then i can pull it up over the line tie keeper and that's gonna that bait's gonna sit there that's not coming off at all so i've got that exposed hook from fishing uh, where you know it's obviously easier to fish with an exposed hook from a hook set point of view so if i can get away fishing a drop shot with an exposed hook that's what i'm going to do every time the complication is when there's timber and trees involved or grass and um, obviously getting hung up every time then this rig won't work and um, what i also like about it and i'll show you the way to get around that now from a weedless presentation using exactly the same hook but what i do like about this rig as well um this hook is it's a straight shank hook so i get direct straight hook penetration um you know if i set the hook upwards that hook goes straight into the fish i don't have a circle hook that's possibly rolling around and, and doing all whatever it needs to do there you know it's just for me i just like that direct hook set that straight shank goes straight into the fish done i don't like to over complicate things if i'm fishing this timber down the bottom here i'm fishing and uh I obviously you know i don't want to get hung up then i just do the normal sort of texas rig it's got that uh, grip and keep on it so elastic's not coming off there that's that's stuck that's in place and i just go straight back in like i say this is the 10 which is which is fine for this 275 uh, inch bait and, and there it is okay i'll pull these tentacles out a bit just manipulate them a bit get some of the glitter and the salt up to the surface it makes them open up 
as opposed to stick together. And there you go. So I've used the same hook. So if I'm fishing a, a dam or a tournament or whatever the case is, and I find myself in a scenario where I'm fishing rock, I can just change my rig. If I find myself fishing around timber and stuff, well, there we go. I can just change my way I hook it as well. So I'm using the same hook for the application. So that's what I like about it, is I don't have to change hooks and retire drop shots. It's a mission, let's be honest, retying a drop shot every time. So this hook allows me to do everything and I'm, I'm really impressed with that hook. Super sharp hook, strong hook, light wire hook as well. Um, so obviously you don't want to, you know, put big line on it, but we're fishing a drop shot. So, um, you know, that's, we're not going to bend that hook open. If you get stuck down there for some reason, obviously, you're gonna, you know, it's a light wire hook, you will bend it open. But, um, but generally, yeah, I mean, that's, that does the trick and, and um, I've had a lot of success on it. Caught some really good fish, you know, two, three kilo range fish as well recently on the setup and yeah, I'm quite stoked with it. So there's a nice tip for you guys. It's gonna help you a bit more convenience on the water and uh, hopefully help you guys catch more fish, put more fish in the boat. So I'm gonna put this ticklers on drop shot and see what I can do. In uh, rod and reel wires, reel wires on this deal, I've got the Pesca drop shot shaky head. So that's the drop shot rod that I'll be using. And then I've got the loose crush, stunning, stunning spinning reel. Got the wind grips hand handles, 11 bearings, got a super, super smooth, slick drag. So yeah, that's the loose mock crush. And that's my, my drop shot setup. So uh, yeah, let's give that a crack and we'll see what we can get with that. So that's cool. Right, and then I've gone and rigged up uh, Ned rig with the finesse rooms, the Z-Man finesse rooms, the weedless, got that wire we got, which is very, very important. Stops you from getting hung up, obviously. And I've put that um, TRD ticklers on that. So that's rigged up, that's ready to go. And um, the rod set up on that is the Pesca, it's the Ned Nico rig. So perfect design for Ned rigs, nice, amazing tip on it. Nice lightweight spinning rod as well. And I've got that loose mock crush on there. So yeah, that's very, very slick and very, very nice. So let's see what we can do with that as well. Oh, that feels like a bout. Some good stuff down there. Good stuff down there, just dragging that drop shot, that tickler. TRD tickler. I'm pretty sure these fish haven't seen one of these before, so uh, that gives me a bit of an advantage as well, you know, fishing new baits. It helps in the fishing pressure, you know. You keep seeing the same old plastics, and you throw something different in there. That could be what it takes to get the bite. take long for that yeah baby look at that quality boys TRD tickler dogs nice <clears throat> ah come off oh well Whew. that was nice didn't take too long eh very good, very good, very good, very good. <laughs> Look at that. Bait's still in perfect condition. Just throw it out again. Value for money, that's what that is. Z-Man elastic dogs. Nice fish, man. Sure. Punch buck, rage punch buck. Let's see what we can do here. Let's get it up under this hyacinth. Oh, well, I didn't even go through. A 
that went through. So what's nice about this crush It's got those um, big wind grip handles on it. Solid, solid, solid. Let's get more hot. Here we go. Oh man, he charged me in there. That was so intense, man. But slow to react. Golly, he was chowing me there. That of course like he was chewing on chewing gum, man. Maybe it's just a Sunday morning slow brain there. I can't believe that. Gosh. Damn it. Shoot it. this thing some extra attraction here put some instinct up on it give that thing some flash Careful with this stuff, it's serious, serious dye. Smells like garlic, man, it's so strong. Um, right, let's have a look at that. Let's get this lid safe and sound. Take that away. Oh, yeah, just so that you see what the product is it's instinct, instinct chartreuse garlic dip. Let's get that packed away. Right, so this is going to give me some extra flash look at that shines yes it shines oh wow fantastic product so that's going to give me some flash down there in that shade and the stick stuff here so maybe i would have had that in the beginning Could have had that fish. don't know what it is about bass and garlic but uh, we tend to hold on a bit longer I've got that coffee spray as well it's coffee scent on me as well so i guess it's just down to angler era bro. Rookies, rookie heroes. about fishing these isolated mats of hyacinth you don't get a second chance like 
there's a fish in there. A lot of times there's one. When you get him to bite, you've got to put him in the boat. So. Sucks a bit. Better conditions for this punching sort of deal than those two topwater baits that we got in the box. Um, like bluebird scars, it's been raining the last three days. So, didn't pick the best day for the topwater deal, we'll have to do that some other time. That sucks, doesn't it? <clears throat> right. Particularly on an head rig. Wrong with you? Keep on picking up the screen slant. Probably not the best area for this Nedrig. We go back to the drop shot. Go. This one for the electronics boys, 25 foot of water, fish deck charts, and this timing boat 360. Saw that rock down there. I'll keep him coming while he's coming. Oh, not bad, not bad. Got that tickler down. Look at that, man. Let's pop him out there. Uh, not bad. Can't get my fingers in there on this little guy. <clears throat> Drop shot ticklers. Wee, 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 wee. Okay. Done and dusted. <sighs> That's it. Tickler dogs, boys. And there we go. Base in perfect condition, still on the hook. Nothing's torn. Boom. Awesome stuff. Just get back in there. Hopefully there's a big one. Don't know if you guys can see that, but you can see all the rock on the ultra ultra HF fish tech chart. I can see exactly where it is on the Hummingbird 360, 25 foot of water, that's in the boat, certainly makes life a lot easier.
I think there's a big misconception out there that these fish tech charts are only for tournament guys. You know, if you've if you go out fishing, you've got a boat and you've got a fish finder, well, it makes sense to get the chart. I mean, it's much cheaper than the the finder itself, and it's just that it just gives you that plug-in. It's like bang, you know. There you go. Everything's scanned for you. You can see where it is. You can see what it looks like. Uh, it's just going to make you catch more fish. So maybe definitely worth the investment. You know? If you go look at how much money we spend on other stuff for a couple of grand, you can see exactly what's going on under the water. And even if you're a guy that doesn't have a lot of time, you can spend an hour or two the night before. One hour is enough going through the chart from your house and you can actually mark areas that you want to come fish the next day so it's very quick and you can get into those fish right away and areas like this that are offshore aren't as pressured as the banks a lot of guys just come and bank bash and that's cool and it's fun and then you'll catch fish like that but um, sometimes there's a lot of fish to be caught and quite easily the second you get down there bang you're on I just think it's if you're going to spend all that money going fishing and getting a boat and electronics, I'll also get the chart. You know, it's like it goes hand in hand. Fish those less pressured areas that the other guys aren't fishing. Catch more fish at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. We just want to catch fish. Right, so I think the point is proved with this tickler. I think I'm going to rig up that. Uh, giant TOD Let's see what we can do with that Three eight ounce, three eight ounce. Let's find the rod for this man. What is this? Three eight ounce. Okay, let's do that. Weightless mojo rod. It's quite a versatile rod. Goes up to three eight ounce. I think we're going to be maxed out on this. But it's a seven mile foot, so that'll give me a long cast. It'll give me some good control of that bait long hook set arc which is nice mag shrooms 3 8 ounce that's a proper proper jig in there to be honest I think that's a 6-0 hook in there the way we got in my life Let's get this thing on. Incredibly durable, naturally buoyant, non-toxic. Okay, I think the first two are interesting. The third one is self-explanatory, unless anyone's planning on eating them. But they do look good, right? Sunday afternoon snack. Right, how do we look? Looks good to me. Here we go. Giant TOD. Let's see what we can do. That. That's a proper meal, boys.
I found the tree. And I hope I've stopped my TRD gone. Shit. It's not looking positive, boys. That thing's stuck. It's looking extremely unpositive. Negative. How's that for a word? Unpositive. Correct. Yeah, that's unpositive, negative, to the point of caught outside. Golly, start that again. Bloody hell. You can see that thing there. Oh, Jeez. Test the hot rate this moment. Whew. Jeez. Yes! Look at that, boys! That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Come on! Boom. Yeah, boys. Punch bug dogs. Boom. Look at that, boys. That's how we get it done. Mm. Look at that. Yes. Strike King. Rage punch bug in the mouth, boys. Oh. Why do you use braid? Why do you use such a broomstick? Punch, pitch and punch rod, boys. That's why. Bring him and all the ice and for one time. Oh, that must have got him beautifully. Boom. How we get it done, boys. Yes. House and dogs, boys. House and dogs. That's why we. That's exactly why we designed this rod. Yes. Awesome. Hardly was on its way down. Boom! And that fish just slammed it. Woo! -hoo. It'll get your adrenaline going, boys. Woo. Yeah. Catastrophe here on the deck, let's be honest. Sure. Anyway, we'll sort that out. Ah, yeah, punch bug dogs, boys. Woo! That's how you get it done. Just drill them and you keep them coming. That's it boys, that's it. Attention. So good. Man, this rod is so sensitive for a such a big heavy pitch punch rod. And it's strong enough to probably oh man, two ounces. Oh, it's nice. It's got such a nice tip on it as well. It's just you pitch it in there, punch it in there. Oh, so good. Just so nice to have a rod that's not just like a dead broomstick you know it's this thing's designed properly all the power you need got that tip to help you flip and pitch easily and just super sensitive man so so nice 
just keep them coming. We've got these loose the oversized wind grips that come on the standard. They come standard on the loose crush. And I've got uh, seven and a half to, to one gear ratio. And all the power on these handles just to bring that fish, just keep it coming in the boat. Let's go. Fantastic. Yeah, well, that brings me to the end of my day. Um, didn't get to do any of the top water stuff, didn't really have the be best weather day for that. So, um, yeah, back to the tickler did well, managed to do some punching, so that was pretty cool. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.